Well, I, I developed an interest in long-term memory actually sort of after I got in grad school. Uh, initially, I went to Stanford to join their mathematical psychology program, trying to develop computer and mathematical models to account for simple uh, perceptual and learning phenomena. But then gradually, as a function of the research I was doing and other students and the faculty there at Stanford, there seemed to be so many puzzles about how the system worked that, that, that just kind of captured me. And uh, particularly, one aspect that's endured the whole time is why don't people sort of learn more about how the whole thing works? I mean, we have a life of uh, you know, trials and errors in living and learning, and you might think that would let us figure out how the system works, but there's a lot of evidence that people carry around a kind of faulty mental model of their own learning and memory, and uh, that evidence has been particularly uh, profuse across the last decade or so, but uh, so it's been a puzzle that uh, motivated me, captured me uh, all these years. Well, when I think back to my own involvement in memory, uh, certain very basic things captured me that had a long history. So, for example, something as simple but prevalent as the so-called spacing effect, that if you're going to study something twice, that if you let other things go on before you study it again, rather than, say, deciding you should study it again right away, that that can produce better recall on the long term, sometimes much, much better. Those kind of things just sort of uh, trigger a sort of why reaction, you know, yeah, why? And and there's a lot of evidence that people think it's been well organized to mass their learning on one topic. So just to, uh, you know, you read some chapter, now I'll read it again right away to sort of see what I missed, that, that that's being organized. And I'll, I'll spend all my this afternoon's studying all on one topic versus more than one topic, that that's being well organized. So again, uh, the way your intuitions mislead you uh, was something that intrigued me from early on.